Here is our paper, 3D SSD, point-based 3D single-stage object detector. This is an elegant single-stage anchor free detector with state-of-the-art performance and real-time inference speed. First of all, let me introduce the 3D object detection task. 3D object detectors treat LiDAR point call as input, predict the location, size, as well as orientation of an object. Here is an example of object detection result. Since LiDAR point calls are sparse and unordered, 3D object detectors can be classified into two main streams according to their data preprocessing function. The first one is voxel-based method. A voxel-based method applies voxelization on the entire point cloud and applies 2D mechanisms to generate the final prediction result. The second type is point-based method. Without any data conversion, point-based method directly take raw point cloud as input and generate predictions based on each point. In this part, we provide several statistic comparison between voxel-based method and point-based method. The point-based methods are illustrated as red bars and voxel-based methods are illustrated as gray bars. As we can see, point-based methods draw better performance, but yet with our with longer inference time. In this slide, we analyze the time bottleneck of current point-based method. We know that DS layer and US layer represent for downsampling layers and updampling layers respectively. We found that updampling layers and the second stage doubles the GPU memory cost and they are really time consuming. So why do we need updampling layer? We show an example in the real life autonomous driving scenario. Ground truth bounding boxes are marked as yellow and the sampled points after downsampling process are marked in red. And we can find that only two objects which are marked in red are possible to be detected because their interior points are kept. Statistically, we use point recall, the quotient between the number of instances whose interior points survived from the downsampling process and the total number of instances to help illustrate this fact. We test the point recall on new scene dataset. We found that with 512 points, only 51.8% ground truth bounding boxes can be detected and this is intolerant. Our solution is feature FPS. It applies furthest point sampling among the semantic feature space. On conclusion, there are two advantages of using FFPS. The first one is it can remove large amount of background points. And the second one is it can collect in the area points for remote objects. With these two advantages, our feature FPS can gather in the area points as much as possible. We show the sampling result after feature FPS under the same scene. Also, we can find that with feature FPS, a point recall on new scenes as set is much higher than the original one. However, there are some potential problems. That is the limited, the limited receptive field of ground background points. With a limited number of total representative points, many negative points are discarded during the downsampling process, and this benefits regression but yet hampers classification. Our solution here is fusion sampling strategy, in which both feature FPS and FPS on the Euclidean distance are applied during a SA layer, during a downsampling layer, to retain more positive points for localization and enough negative points for classification as well. And here is the overall framework of our 3D SSC. The first one is a backbone network. It takes raw point cloud as input and generates global features for all representative points through several downsampling layers with fusion sampling strategy. The second one is candidate generation layer, which fully utilizes the advantages of fusion sampling strategy and the brain's performance improvement. And the third one is anchor free regression head. So let's show some experiment, experimental result. We show the comparison on inference time among different point-based methods. As illustrated, our 3D SSD has an inference speed more than 25 frames per second, two times faster than former state-of-the-art point-based method. And we also compare our 3D SSD with former state-of-the-art method. We can find that our 3D SSD outperforms former single-stage object detectors by a large margin. So, in this paper, we propose a lightweight and efficient point-based 3D single-stage object detector. We introduce a novel fusion dampening strategy, we design a candidate generation layer, and our model achieves comparable performance to state-of-the-art point-based methods with much higher efficiency, which is 38 milliseconds per scene. And our code is available at here. Thank you so much.